So a sack fly in play. Goldeyes have the infield back here in the opening inning. And the pitch to Datsun. High fly ball to center. Should be deep enough. Tyler Hill in and to his right. Hill cutting over. Makes the catch. Lang tacks. He's going to try it. Here's a throw to the plate. It's off the mark. Lang scores standing up. Brendan Datsun with a sacrifice fly to left center and a run batted in. And the Explorers for a second consecutive night take a 1-0 lead in the top half of the first inning. Someone like, say, a Tyler Matzik or a Carlos Contreras swinging a ground ball right side, tough play. Picked up by Connor. It's only play at first, makes the throw in time. Macaluso scores from third. Jacob Bockley with an RBI ground out to the right side, and it's 2-0 Sioux City in the top half of the first inning. Here's the pitch. Line shot towards left field. Racing over Kevin Lachance. It's going to fall in for a base hit. They're going to wave McCurdy around to the plate. No relay by Darvel. McCurdy scores standing up. A two-out RBI single to left for Jordan Garr. And the Explorers have taken a 3-0 lead. The one-two pitch. Ground ball left side. Darvel into the hole. Sliding stop. Pops up from a knee. Heaves it over to first. The stretch by Martin. And it's in time to get pot goal. And there's two away. Brennan Datsun, who was signed today from Bowmanville, Ontario. James Smeber tonight's second baseman for Sioux City from Mississauga, Ontario. 1-0 pitch and a high fly ball to left. Pretty deep. Lachance going back to the warning track. He's at the wall, and it's gone! Dustin Macaluso homers down the left field line. His second extra base hit of the ball game, and the Explorers lead it 4 nothing in the top half of the third. So uh, Dustin Macaluso taking advantage of the opportunity to audition in front of these two clubs. A solo blast, a double and a homer, and he's now scored twice. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball, grounded towards the middle of the diamond. It's stabbed by Datsun. He goes to second for one. Beerhand pickup. Sneeper to first, and it's in time for the double play. And the side is retired. One on and two out, 4 nothing. Sioux City in the top of the sixth. James Deal sitting the ear towards left. On the run, Lachance still going back towards his left. He can't get it. It's down for a hit and bouncing towards the wall. Lang is in a third. He's going to be way to the plate. The relay throw by Darvel. Here's the tag and safe at the plate. Michael Lang, he dives in with a fifth run. On to second goes Datsun. An RBI double for Brendan Datsun to left. And it's 5 nothing. Sioux City in the top half of the sixth inning. It is just not fair to the teams that have been at the top all season. Ground ball left side. It's picked up by Gar. He goes to the plate, and it's not in time. He bounced the throw in front. Bockley knocked it down, but he couldn't touch the plate. Martin scores. It's an RBI fielder's choice for Dion Stafford, and the goal eyes are on the board at 5-1. to one. You can certainly get behind the 0-1 line drive the other way. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Navarro has scored. Lachance right behind him. Foot of the plate by Macaluso. Not inside. Foot of second. Connor slides, and he's safe ahead of the relay throw from Jacob Buckley. Dakota Connors with his third hit of the night. A two-run single down the right field line. Chasing home Raul Navarro and Kevin Lachance. It's now 5-3 Sioux City, and the tying runs are in scoring position. The 2-1 pitch. Line drive towards center field. Michael Lang moving four, reaches down, makes a sliding catch, tagging at third Stafford. Stafford comes in to score. Great catch in center by Michael Lang. It's a sacrifice fly to run batted in for Tyler Hill. And the goal eyes pull within one run. It's now five to four Sioux City in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Connors leads off second base, and the 1-1 pitch. Darvel swings, lines it towards center. That's down for a base hit. Connors rounds third, laying up with the ball. Won't make a throw. Connors scores the tying run standing up. Wes Darvel with a two-out RBI single as center. And the Gold Eyes have drawn even at 5-5 five and five here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. The 1-1 pitch. Ground ball the other way. Base hit through to left field. Lang scores from third. They're going to wave Macaluso to the plate. Here's a throw by Kevin Lachance. Stafford's got to the tag, and Macaluso is out at home plate. Kevin Lachance with a great throw from left field. Drew Stafford lunges back and lays down the tag to cut down Dustin Macaluso. 2-2 to Bockley. Line shot towards the gap in left center field. This ball's going to get down for a base hit and roll towards the wall. Datsun has scored. Bockley on his way to second. Bockley will hold it second with a two-out RBI double to left center. And it's 7-5, Sioux sitting in the top half of the eighth inning. The 2-0 pitch. And in the year towards center field, charging forward. Lang a tough play. Lang still coming on. Dives, and Lang makes the catch for the first out. Second great sliding play by Lang across the wet outfield grass. He takes away a hit from Dakota Connors. Sullivan comes set. Payoff pitch, inside ball, Ford forces home a run. Kyle Martin scores from third, a fourth consecutive full count walk. It's now 7-6, Sioux City in the ninth. 
Sullivan off the first base side of the rubber. 1-1 pitch, high and inside, it gets away! Here comes Navarro, and Navarro scores standing up! It's 7-7 in the bottom of the ninth on a wild pitch from Keaton Sullivan. Righty against righty. 2-2 pitch, and a high fly ball, deep left field! Paco going back, back to the wall, he looks up, and this ball is gone! Dakota Connors, it's a walk-off grand slam on the bottom half of the ninth inning. And the Goldeye shocked the Explorers and win it 11 to seven.